Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you the simplest and quickest way to create a portfolio using GitHub. Let's jump in. First, we're going to go over to github.com and we're going to create an account. I already have an account, so it just logged me in. But if you need to create an account, go in and create an account. Once you've created your account, over here in the top right hand corner, there's going to be a plus sign. You're going to click on that and you're going to create a new repository. For your portfolio, it is essential that you name it your username dot github dot io. If you do not use your username, that's going to be an issue and it won't work. You need to use your unique username. From there, you can initialize the repository with a readme file. I'll click that. You can put a description, which is optional, but it will help with SEO and things like that. And you're going to come down to create repository. Now we're going to go over to VS Code. So now I'm in VS Code. I have a folder on my computer, mod1, and I've put an index.html file inside of it. From here, we create our page. So, and we're going to go back over to our GitHub. I have my file right here and I'm going to click and drag this into my repository. So if I do this, it just brings me to the page to do that. It won't automatically do it unless you're on this page, you can't click and drag it. So I've clicked and dragged it and I can see right here that it's put it ready to commit. So then I'm going to commit changes. Okay. And then now if your username was my username, if I went to your username.github.io, it would pull up my portfolio. So I'm actually going to show you my portfolio instead. So I'm going to go over to my repositories. Here's my portfolio. Here I have, I have a little bit more going on, but here's my index. So if we go over to rmcna.github.io, here is my portfolio that I'm working on. So, yeah. That is how you create a portfolio using GitHub. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Just make sure your username.github.io and you'll be good. Hopefully this video was helpful. It's really simple, really user-friendly. There are ways to do this using the terminal or the command line, but it's just really easy to do the click and drag to get started. So there you have it. And I hope to see you in another video. Thank you for watching.